I don't know if you can hear all that, but basically it said Smart Glide's active, engaging autopilot, airport 8 o'clock, 3 miles. All right, so as promised, we are now uh, going to get into a Sling 2 and we're going to show you the flight portion of the Smart Glide system. All right, so we're uh, up in the air here at 5,000. See, uh, we're just a, a couple miles from the Cairo Airport. So uh, we're going to uh, simulate an engine out here and we're going to go ahead and go into Smart Glide. I don't know if you can hear all that, but basically it said Smart Glide's active, engaging autopilot, airport 8 o'clock, 3 miles. And you can see now we've got this nice glide ring that uh, has changed colors to let us know that we're in Smart Glide. We already have the Unicom frequency tuned up. If we go into our glide page here, you can see Smart Glide's active, winds are currently calm on ADSB. Uh, we have the option to squawk emergency and to tune 121.5 into our standby. We're going to make a radio call real quick. Carol Traffic, Sling 5459 Yankee is two miles to the east. We're doing a simulated emergency out. Okay, so we just got the call out that we're approaching the airport, 12 o'clock, two miles. So, of course, the uh, purpose of what we're doing here is we're going to see when it asks us to disengage the autopilot, what altitude will it either force the disengage or I guess rather will it disengage. We just got a 3,000 feet altitude call out. You can see it's doing a pretty good job at holding us at 72 knots. Of course this autopilot has been well tuned so one of the big uh, factors is how well is your autopilot tuned as to the performance of Smart Glide. Kara Traffic Sling 5459 Yankee directly over the airport at 2900. We're doing a simulated emergency engine out spiral. Okay, so you can see our course needle just reversed. So now it's going to basically just start a left turn and uh, help spiral us down to get to a uh, appropriate altitude. Okay, we just got a 2000 foot call out. So airport elevation here is uh, 700 and some change. Right now it's actually putting me on a little bit close, but it's basically getting me on a downwind for 2-4. Now if this were uh, really happening, this would be, I, I probably would have disconnected the autopilot by now and taken over, because 2-4 would have been my runway. And actually it says to disengage the autopilot now. So you can see we're right on base here. We are about uh, 1,200 feet AGL though, so we're a little high. So. Like we said in our last video, by no means is this intended to be an auto land. Uh, it's just here to get you to the airport and get you close. So you can hear, we're at a thousand feet, it wants us to maneuver and land. And now it keeps telling me to disconnect. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take over now because I'm uh, feeling a little uncomfortable. Okay, so that was an in-flight demonstration of Garmin's new Smart Glide technology, on a, then in that case on a Sling 2. Uh, again, this is available on G3X software 8.91. As you saw on the flight, the uh, Smart Glide picked the airport, pretty much took us right over the airport, and then put us into a pretty close but uh, definitely sufficient left base for runway 2-4. Uh, that's the preferred runway here in Windsor Calm, so it did exactly what it should have done. Also, as you can see, it won't disconnect the autopilot on you. You have to disconnect it. And uh, as we were kind of getting towards the trees there, you know, I was feeling a little uncomfortable. So uh, I don't imagine that's going to be any different for most people that use that. So definitely pay attention if you ever have to. And, uh, you know, when you're at a good point to take over, just do so. Uh, again, if you have any questions about Smart Glide or the G3X in general, uh, leave a comment. Uh, again, look out for more videos as well. And we also have a, a customers only Facebook page. So if you're one of our customers, uh, request access to that. And then we'll have even more tips and tricks in there for you too.